The first lesson in Science 9 Quarter 1 is Circulatory and Respiratory System. Now, let's watch this video so you have fun learning this topic to enhance your knowledge and be the smartest kid in your classroom. The lesson we will discuss is based on most essential learning competency, our mouth. The code is S9LT-1 one A B dash twenty six. Explain how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different different parts of the body. What is the meaning or how the respiratory system works? Respiration is the process of taking in oxygen from the environment and delivering it to the cells. At the same time, carbon dioxide is removed and taken out of the body. Therefore, the human respiratory system is responsible for exchanging gases between humans and the environment. This system, which is generally comprised of nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, and the lungs, also allows for the filtration, humidification, and warming of the air when it enters the nostrils and the air passages. This role of the system minimizes the harmful content of the air reaching the lungs before the gas exchange takes place in the body. The respiratory system is where gas exchange occurs, picks up oxygen from inhaled air, expels carbon dioxide and water. The lung is the vital organ responsible for breathing, particularly gas exchange. The human body has one pair of lungs. Each lung has two lobes that have its own pleura sac. Here are its important parts to work well. The main stem is the trachea. The large branching stems are the bronchi, and all the little stems are the bronchioles. The little grapes like are air sacs or alveoli. Alveolus in singular. Here is the step by step process of respiration. The air we breathe goes through the nose or the nasal opening towards the nasal cavity. These parts are aligned with mucous membrane and cilia or tiny hairs to filter particles in the air. The pharynx is also known as the throat. It contains the epiglottis which closes off the opening of the trachea when you swallow. Right below the epiglottis is the larynx or the voice box. Trachea, which is also known as the windpipe, is made up of muscle, elastic fibers, and rings of cartilage and is lined with mucus secreting cells and cilia to trap foreign materials. From this tube, air moves towards the bronchi, bronchus for singular, which serve as the extension of the trachea that divides the left and right lungs. The bronchi further stemmed out into tiny stems called bronchioles that carry the air in or out from the alveoli. Alveoli then are tiny sacs inside the lungs where gas exchange happens. They are all one cell thick and are lined with capillary, capillary beds. The alveoli increase the surface area for a more efficient exchange of gases in the lungs. The respiratory system moves gases into and out of the blood. The lungs contain the bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. As you can see in the picture, that's how the alveoli and bronchiole looks like. Millions of alveoli give the lungs a huge surface area. The alveoli absorb oxygen from the air you inhale. Breathing involves the diaphragm and muscles of the ribcage. Air flows from areas of high pressure to low pressure. When air is inhaled, muscles contract and ribcage expands. Diaphragm flattens and moves downward. When the air exhaled, muscles and ribcage relax. And the diaphragm relaxes and rises. Thank you for watching. Please like subscribe or follow 
and share. Till the next video, bye!